Hi guys, welcome. It's almost Valentine's Day and it's time to make your little teddy bears. I just created this new pattern. I hope you guys like it. I also made him a little raincoat right here. You see how cute with his little ears. I made him like little patches right here and it's a very beginner friendly pattern. If you are a beginner, you can totally follow this video and make this pair. I also made another version which is a fluffy version right here. This one, I'm gonna be honest with you, if you are a beginner, you will struggle to make him because we don't see stitches very well. So if you are a beginner, try to make this one instead. And after a little bit more experience, you can make this one. Let me tell you, you can follow this video step by step. I will tell you every round, everything you need to do is in this video. But if you prefer a written version of the pattern, like with a pictures and explanation, you can find everything on my Etsy store. And also, if you are interested in making uh, the little raincoat, you can find the pattern, the PDF as well on my Etsy shop. And it also comes with a tutorial. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for the support. If you decide uh, to get the PDF version, it really, really helps my business grow. And now let's get started with the supplies. So the links to purchase the supplies and similar yarn available in Europe are in the description of the video. So you can find everything if you click on the link. The use of different supplies from what's indicated may vary the final result. Just want to let you know. You don't have to use the same brand of yarn, but the weight category has to be the same for a similar result. So for both of the pairs, I use the hook 8mm and you can see I made two pairs, bear number one, bear number two. If you are a beginner, I suggest you to make bear number one. It will be way easier. The second one um, is made with fluffy yarn and you may struggle to see stitches and everything. So if you are a beginner, I suggest you to go with bear number one. So if you want to make bear number one, I use premier uh, premier basics shiny bright is very hard to say color caramel sometimes it's sold out if it's sold out you can use berna baby blanket berna blanket or obi happy chunky double so it's kind of similar yarns and as i say earlier you can find the link to purchase all of this yarn even like similar yarn in the description and then if you want to add some spice in your life and decide to make bear number two, it's absolutely adorable, a little bit more complicated, but the result is absolutely stunning. So you trust to make bear number two, you will need premier parfait chunky color teddy bear mixed with little bunny. So I just crochet both yarns together and you get this fluffy aspect. And the good thing about using the parfait chunky with it, you still see the stitches. So that, I would say that's my technique to make it a little bit less complicated. And if you are in Europe, you can use Obi Baby Snuggle. They have a color called Teddy Bear as well. And you mix it with Obi Teddy in brown. Then you will need thin cotton thread. So I use a black one for the eyebrows. You can use also thin acrylic yarn, it doesn't matter and brown cotton thread to sew some elements together. Try to choose a color that is pretty similar to your bear to make it as uh, discreet as possible. Um, I sew with a brown cotton thread. I use it to sew the muzzle and the patches. Then you will need darning needles. So if you already followed my video, you know I, I like using normal darning needles, but I also like using curved darning needles is what I recommend for amigurumis. I think it's just easier. So if you can have it both at home, it's just perfect. Then you will need some stuffing. You don't need that much. It, it's quite a small plushie, so you don't need a lot, a lot of stuffing. Then two safety eyes in 10 millimeters, two round safety eyes one safety nose um, or nose I don't know how to say I use one the dimension are 12 by 15 millimeter and you, if you click on the link for the for the supplies I listed one that is a classic 
safety noise that comes with the um, safety ice box and everything but I love using the velvety ones that are my favorite they are listed in the list of supplies then if you want to make the patches you don't have to make the patches but I think it makes it make the bear a little bit cuter you will need tan felt sheet one millimeter thickness the thickness is pretty important you know because it makes it easier easier to sew and everything so one millimeter thickness then some sewing pins if you decide to sew the patches you will need it you will also need a lap counter as usual stitch markers as usual and some sewing clips so you see i put both um, styles <laughs> on the pictures i Personally, I like the, using the, the one that you see in pink, it's very convenient. And voila, that's it for the supplies. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. I'm happy to help you find yarns and everything, so let me know. And here are the abbreviations that you will find in this tutorial. So R is round, S, C is single crochet, C, H is chain stitch, S, L is slip stitch, DEC is decrease and INC is increase. I just need to tell you some stuff before we start and I swear after that I'm done. The following video is a step-by-step -step tutorial to crochet my doo bear. You can get the written pattern on my Etsy shop as a PDF file as well as the patterns to make the raincoat and other clothes because I'm, I plan to make him a lot of little clothes. It's gonna be so cute. The links are in the description and thank you so much for the support. The number in parentheses is the number of stitches to have at the end of a round or of a row. So make sure to always check if your number of stitches is correct. My creations are crochet crocheted I never know how to say are crocheted you using the yarn over uh, you okay let's start again using the yarn over technique and I work rounds in spiral if sometimes the video goes too fast you can slow it down in the YouTube reader settings let's let's get oh my god let's get started and let me know if you have any questions so let's start with the muzzle you start with a magic ring and you make six single crochet in the ring. I always say make sure to close your ring little by little. Don't wait uh, to make the six single crochet to close because if not, the yarn will break. So you see, I make two single crochet, I close a little bit, two single crochet, I close a little bit more. And you will see, thanks to this technique, the yarn should not break. Then round number two, you start by making one increase. So one increase is two single crochet in the same stitch. So you start by making one increase. Then you make three single crochet in the same stitch. So three single crochet in the same stitch. Then you will make two increases. Three single crochet in the same stitch. And you will end up your round by making one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have 14 stitches. So make sure to count at the end of your round to make sure you have all the stitches. Then you can cut the yarn and make an invisible finish. So I will show you how to make a nice invisible finish. So basically, uh, you try to make the finish uh, as discreet as you can and you create like a, a fake stitch, basically. So I show you how to do right here on the video with the darning needle. And 
then you can insert the little safety noise so right here you see where i placed it as i say i always like the velvet velvety safety noise i think they are super cute look at that it's already cute then let's make the two little ears so you start with a magic ring and you make six single crochet in the ring as I say earlier, for the muzzle, make sure to close your ring little by little to avoid the yarn breaking. After that, you will make six increases that will give you a total of 12 stitches at the end of this round. And then after the increases, you will make six decreases. So one decrease is to take two stitches and make only one. Voila. So you make six decreases. I don't know if my explanation of decreases uh, was very good. If you don't know how to make an invisible, um, invisible decrease don't hesitate to google it because i don't know if my explanation was very good sorry about that then you will before cutting keep a long tail about 12 inches or 30 centimeters something pretty long to later sew the ears to the end and then you make an invisible finish with this long tail but keep the long tail okay don't cut it shorter You will pinch the ear uh, with your two fingers to flatten it and you will uh, sew to close the hole so you see if you go back and forth you will just close the, the hole and after that just keep the long tail you don't need to make a knot or anything just keep uh, the long tail and we will use it later to sew it to sew the ears to the head and after that you can make your second ear then we will make something uh, quite important, which is a head. You will start with a magic ring and six single crochet in the ring. Then you will make six increases, this is round two, and it will give you 12 stitches at the end of this round. It should. <laughs> then round three, you will make three increases, three single crochet twice. So this is a series of two. So three increase, three single crochet twice, and you will have 18 single uh, stitches at the end of this round. Round four is three increases, six single crochet twice, and you will end up with 24 stitches.
for his three increases, nine single crochet twice, and you should have 30 stitches at the end of round five. can grab your lap counter because we will make two rounds of one single crochet in each stitch so you have nothing to do just make one single crochet in each of the previous stitches and you do that for two rounds so on round seven place a thread whatever color you, you want. Place a thread on the 12 single crochet and one on the 16th. So here let me see the color I chose. So I chose pink right here. So this is the 12 single crochet and I will put another one on the 16th and this, um, these threads will be used um, to place the safety eyes afterwards. So it just we don't get lost, you know, to place the safety eyes, it will help, hopefully. And after that, grab your lap counter. Again, we will make four rounds of one single crochet in each stitch. Voilà, so once you are done with round 11, after your four rounds of one single crochet in each stitch, you will place a thread, different colors this time, so light pink or white, on the seventh single crochet and one on the 24th. So you see I count 24th. Yeah, so try to pick a different color, like that it will be less confusing. And this will help you later to um, place the lower part of the ears. And once again, we will make two rounds of one single crochet in each stitch. with your two rounds is round 14 and you will make three decreases nine single crochet twice and that will give you 24 stitches at the end of the round so we will start uh, decreasing the, the head to be able to close it So on this round, we will place a thread on the fifth single crochet and one on the 19th. So same thing, I chose a different color. This one is purple. Make sure to only put the thread in the front loop of the stitches. I know I didn't do it on the video and after it, I thought about it. But um, yeah, for the purple thread, make sure to put it on the front loops you will see it will be easier to crochet the decreases on the next um, row if you don't do it like 
I didn't, it's okay, but it will just make your life easier. And this phrase will help you to place the top part of the ears. Now you can place the safety eyes where the two first threads are. So if I remember well, they were like the pink ones and they are placed between round seven and round eight and there are three stitches between them. So that's just to help you. If you notice that the safety eyes are not placed like in the picture or in the video uh, or they are not aligned, don't hesitate to place them again. It can be slightly different, uh, different because of, uh, you know, the difference of tension and everything. So make sure it looks like that. So I will just show you uh, right here on the video how I did. So you see, I will, I always place, place them a little bit under the thread. You see right here, but it, it doesn't have to be exactly like me. It just the result has to kind of look like the same. And then you can uh, remove the thread. Oh, one little advice, try to remove the thread before you put the little uh, safety part in the back. So you will see it's just easier to remove the threads before. So here, make sure it's uh, secure. And then I place the second one under the thread right here. Then we are making round 15, so you will make three decreases, six single, single crochet twice, and I will give you 18 stitches at the end of round 15. So you can start stuffing a little bit the head. I always uh, do the stuffing little by little. So you can always adjust, you know, more you crochet and more you can see what it looks like. So I just always adjust. So here, this is the first part of stuffing. When you stuff, always make sure to look at your creation, make sure it's round, make sure it's nice, you know, because sometimes if you don't stuff very well, it can make things a little bit um, ugly, I would say. So I always check, you see, like I make sure it's round and everything. So then we will make round 16. You will make three decreases, three single crochet twice, and you should have 12 stitches at the end of the round. So then before, uh, before it's completely closed, finish stuffing the head. As I said earlier, make sure everything looks pretty and round. Voilà. So you see, I, I really like stuffing the head because I really want something very nice, very round. So don't hesitate to put a lot of stuffing. I was about to say never too much stuffing, but yes, sometimes it can be hein, too much stuffing. If you start uh, stretching your stitches, it means, you, it means you are over stuffing. So don't do that, just regular stuffing. And the last round is <laughs> round 17 and you will make six decreases. I was laughing because I, I was thinking uh, one of my first creations, I put a lot of stuffing and it was coming out through the stitches. So. Don't do like me, don't overstuff, just stuff normal. And you see, I add a little bit of stuffing before totally closing. Now 
to close the ring, make sure to keep uh, 6 inches or 15 centimeters of thread, then cut it. Pass the thread through the loop to tie a knot and with the thread and the a darning needle, pass through the front loop of the six previous stitches. Right here. So you see in the front, in the front loop, every time I pass it through and more you pass it through, more it will close um, the circle if you pull on it. So voila, make sure to pull a little bit, don't break the yarn, just pull normal and hide the thread uh, with a needle in the head, like that. And then you can cut what's, uh, what's left. then we will place the ears where the last four threads are so for my video it's like the purple ones and the light pink ones and I will say I, I say you can use wooden stick I will say I recommend you to use wooden sticks before sewing them to make sure everything is uh, well in place and it looks nice because after it's sewn you don't want to cut the yarn and do it again so make sure to position them before and make sure it looks like that, like on the pictures. So the threads should help you, but because you know there is difference of tensions and stuffing, it may look totally different as my pictures. So make sure it looks like, like my pictures. And so I will show you on the video, I will uh, place the ear with a wooden stick, I recommend you to place both ears before sewing. I didn't do it on the video, but I recommend you to, to place both with a wooden stick and then to sew them. So now you can remove the threads and you can hide uh, the yarn, uh, the yarn that is cut, you can hide it in the head, make sure everything looks clean. So now we will place the muzzle between the two eyes, sew it with a thin brown cotton yarn and the curved needles for a better, nicer result. Sew only the edges and use both loops of the contour stitches also to make it, to make it blend to the head. I don't know how to say, but make it nice. And before the end, stuff a little bit to make it a little bit, um, I will say, fluffy. And this is what it looks like after. Don't pay attention to the sewing pin, it's just to show you the muzzle. 
And here I use again my wooden stick to posi position it before and then I will start uh, sewing. And here you see before it close, I make sure to add a little bit of stuffing. As I said earlier, not too much. You don't need to put too much. Make sure the stitches don't stretch. But um, just add a little bit of stuffing right here. Make sure the profile looks nice. That's how I did it. Just to look at the profile of the bear. And then you can, you can finish sewing. Something that I like to do, it's uh, cutting a little bit the hair around the eyes to make them more visible. Please be careful if you do <laughs> decide to do that, don't cut a stitch. I always be very careful. I just cut a little bit around, you know, to make them more visible. But you don't have to do it at all. Like, doesn't really matter. But I don't know, I just like doing that. Just make sure to be careful. And last thing for the face, with a thin black cotton or acrylic yarn and a darning needle, I will embroider the eyebrows as in the picture, like I will show you right after the picture what it should look like. Make sure they are very small, like 0.7 inches or 1.8 centimeters, so very small. You see, very small and 
Um, I always use the sewing pins like that before just to have um, a mark. I don't know how to say. So that's, that's my technique. I'll let you watch on the video. I'm gonna be honest, the eyebrows are always my least favorite part because it's very hard to make them look symmetrical. Sometimes you get one that is longer, someone is sh sometimes is shorter. So I use a sewing pin, it, it makes it a little bit easier to have like something parallel. Yes, it's parallel, right? Sometimes don't hesitate to tell me in the comment if I say something wrong. I don't have to say it. A bunch of people always tell me uh, when I say something wrong or, you know, if my accent is too strong. But yeah, don't hesitate like that. I, I learn and when it's a nice comment, I, I learn a new word sometimes. So thank you if you do that. Just don't be mean. So now we are making the arms, you will have to do it twice because we have two arms. You start with a magic ring and six single crochet in the ring. Then round two will be six increases, so two single crochet in the same stitch and it will give you 12 stitches at the end of round two. Then round three is one single crochet in each stitch, so just a regular round. Then round four will be two single crochet, one decrease three times. And that will give you nine stitches at the end. Round five will be three single crochet, one decrease, two single crochet, one decrease. And that will give you seven stitches at the end of the round. You can grab your lap counter and we will make seven rounds of one single crochet in each stitch. So seven rounds and after round six, so right after this round, make sure to lightly stuff the end. We will only stuff the hand, not the arm. So just the hand. I don't know if we say the end. I know it's not the end for an animal, but it made sense to me, you know. And 
you make a invisible finish so cut the thread invisible finish and hide the remaining tail in the arm Voilà, and now you can do the exact same thing for the second arm. Now we will make the legs and the body, but we start with leg number one. You start with a magic ring and six single crochet in the ring. Then you will make six increases, so that will give you 12 stitches at the end of round two. Voila, then round three will be one single crochet, one increase six times and you should get eight, <laughs> you should get 18 stitches. Round number four, two single crochet, one increase six times and you should have 24 stitches at the end of the round. Number five is four decreases, eight single crochet, and four decreases and you should get 16 single crochet uh, stitches at the end of the round. This is round six. You will make three decreases, four single crochet, and three decreases. That will give you 10 stitches at the end of round six. Then make a little ball of stuffing and stuff the foot. We will only stuff the foot and not the leg. So this is the last time you stuff this part. Now you can get your lap counter. We will make four rounds of one single crochet in each stitch. Thank you. 
then once you are done with the round place a marker on the eighth stitch right here so I put a pink marker so we remember now you can cut the yarn and make an invisible finish so you will see I can remove the other stitch marker it doesn't matter so the blue one So then we will make leg number two. So follow the exact same step as leg number one, but after round 10, don't place a marker, don't cut the yarn and keep your hook in the stitch. That's it, no invisible finish. And after that, we will be able to connect the both legs. So round 11 is where we will connect both legs. So this is leg two and you make three chain stitches right here. You can remove the stitch marker, grab leg number one and attach the last chain stitch to leg number one with one single crochet in the stitch that was uh, marked, you know, with a pink stitch, ma stitch marker right here. So you can put the place marker on the first stitch. So the single crochet you just made, this is stitch number one. Then we will make one single crochet in each of the nine stitches left around leg number one. So now you will have 10 stitches around this uh, round. Now you should arrive to the chain. You will make one single crochet in each of the three chain stitches on one side of the chain. And you will have 13 stitches now. After crocheting on the chain, you will make one single crochet in each of the 10 stitches around leg number two. The last part of this round is one single crochet in each of the three chain again but on the other side this time and to make sure your round is correct make sure you have 26 stitches at the end of this round. Now without cutting the yarn or do anything we will start making the body so round number 12 is one single crochet in each stitch. Now uh, place a stitch marker on the loop to hold the yarn and make sure you don't unravel. So now we will invisibly close the legs. So roll the last round, so round 12 you just made, over the legs, right here. So now we will sew a line to close the end of the legs using the back loops, so the part that is inside of the stitches. You can use the yarn you are using to crochet or black cotton yarn. I use yellow yarn to make it more visible for the video, but don't make it in yellow. And if there are holes from the leg connecting as well, you can, you can sew them because it may be some holes, you know, between the legs. So make sure to close everything basically. 
And yes, as I say, I use a yellow yarn to make it more visible, but you don't have to use yellow yarn. Once you are done sewing, we go back to our uh, stitch and to our hook and round 13 will be 10 single crochet, 3 increases, 11 single crochet, 1 increase, 1 single crochet. And make sure to count 13 stitches at the end of this round. Voila, so now we will make five rounds of one single crochet in each stitch. So make sure to grab your lap counter. So now round 19 is three single crochet, one decrease six times. And I will give you 24 stitches at the end of the round. So now we will make two rounds of one single crochet in each stitch. Next round is round 22. You will make two single crochet, one decrease six times. Make sure to have 18 stitches at the end of the round. Round 23 will be one single crochet, one decrease six times. And I should give you 12 stitches at the end of this round. Place the arms on the side of the body with a sewing clips or clothes pins up to you. So I show you on the picture what it should look like. Mm -hmm. 
And finally, this is round 24, so you will make one slip stitch in each stitch. And when you arrive to the stitches of the arms, include them in the slip stitch so they, they attach to the body. So after this round, keep a long tail around uh, 12 inches or 30 centimeters to later so the head to the body and then you can make an invisible finish. Now slightly stuff the body to keep it squishy. I recommend maximum 7 grams or 0.2 ounces of stuffing. So it's really not a lot. And it's also to make sure it fits the clothes. Because if, um, if the belly is too big, the raincoat, for example, will not close. Now we will make the patches. So this part is optional. You don't have to make the patches. I just think it's cute. So in a tan soft felt sheet, we will cut three little pieces. So start by cutting two circles of approximately 1.8 inches or 4.6 centimeter diameter. And then make one circle of approximately 1.2 inches, 3 centimeter diameter. And in this one, don't cut it, just draw a heart in it and then cut it. So in this last circle, so you can see the smallest one, I will try to make a nice heart. So I'm not the best artist ever, I just <laughs> try to make it nice and make, um, I don't know how to say, you know, like when the heart is a little bit puffy and not skinny. I don't know if you know what I mean, but I just try to make a puffy heart. And then you can cut all of them. You will see I prepared a very nice transition. Voila. <laughs> and now with a thin curved darning needle. If you don't have one, you can use a sewing needle. And I use also thin brown cotton yarn. You can sew the two big circles under each feet. So I made nice nine stitches per patch. And you see, I made sure to pin them before to see if it's right in the needle and but it looks nice and then I will um, I will sew and also I forgot to tell you try to make them at equal dis equal distance of each other as much as possible to make sure it's nice
Voilà, so once you made the little feet, I will sew the heart on the left side of the body. And for the heart, I've made 10 stitches at equal distance of each other. This is the last part with a long tail, so the head to the body. I used wooden sticks to keep the, the head straight while sewing. I cannot talk anymore at the end of the tutorial, I'm like, I'm sorry, <laughs> it's so bad. Well, this is the last part and it's an important part because he also, you know, you have to make sure the head is straight and everything, so it's an important part important part. You see, I cannot talk anymore. I'm done. I'm done talking. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Don't forget you can also get the raincoat pattern on my Etsy shop. It comes with the tutorial as well. I'm planning to make more clothes and more animals and they can like, you know, like you can switch the raincoat to another animal and everything. So please let me know in the comment section something you would like to see, a specific animal, a specific clothes, and I will be happy to make them. I see you very soon and please take care. Bye bye.